Yes, I bought a van, as you can see. <laughs> it is a Vauxhall combo van. 2011, 1.3 liter diesel. As well as being converted for being a camper, it'll also be my new daily. So I'll be using it to get to work, and go home, and spend weekends away in. But let me give you a tour. Not much to give. Fairly small, but we'll start outside and work our way in. From the top, as you can see. I've got spots here for a roof rack. As you know, I fitted a roof rack on the Mini to go mountain biking, making it a lot easier because in my mountain bike video, you can see me trying to get the mountain bike inside. Wasn't always easy. <laughs> and unfortunately, even though I used it to transport the bike, I, I never really went mountain bike using the roof rack on the mini so oh well at least was useful when I was moving and when I had to move a few other things other than a bike here's the front passenger side which I typically open by accident most of the time still to this day when I'm expected to drive off <laughs> Still happens to me, even though I've been here for a little over a year now. Oh no, my steering wheel's on that side. Oh, what shall I do? It's broken. <laughs> I've got a bulkhead I plan on taking out here. I've got storage down here. Blanket, my uh, windshield wiper fluid, bungee cords, my weights that I take to work with me. She only has a little over 81,000 miles on her, so not bad. It's got plenty of space, tire pressure, markings I guess they did that to all the Royal Mail postal uh, vans I think I had a storage panel here but it's been removed off for some reason but little cubby here I've got for a reusable bag needs to be cleaned out a bit but not bad down here, I've just got a little spot for my gloves that I put on, because sometimes I put these on when I'm fueling up or opening up the hood. Or the bonnet. There's still a few American terms I still use. That needs a bit of a cleaning, but there's my jack. Those, I believe, other than being storage in the two-seaters, probably would have been footwells for the uh, four-seater version of this. But it's all fairly basic. Rolly windows and everything. Nice giant windshield. <laughs> Get a really good view. Unlike you've already seen inside here, I've got I've got plenty of space. There's a little vents here that need, probably need replaced, and my spare tire. I need a spare tire. I've just went to a s scrap scrap yard to uh, go get that because underneath here, ugh, as you can see, I don't have it. So I'll have to fit that in and. But it's all, all clean underneath. 
sits on springs and not on leaves. Leaves. So. She'll do a lot better fuel economy than my Mini. I keep re keep referring to the van as female, it's just a habit. And no, I haven't named it, or her, yet. air bed in here. No, I haven't slept in here yet. Move this out the way. But even with the bulkhead here, well, ooh, ow. <laughs> yeah, this, this needs to go. <laughs> this can't stay. So why did I get a van? Well, I'm going up to Scotland <laughs> in uh, in July. First two weeks in July, I'll be heading up that way. Uh, we'll be doing tough, tough, tough mutter. If you haven't heard of that before, neither have I. <laughs> it's actually uh, Alaric. My friend who joined me on the loggerheads video in mold we both signed up to do it 5k course so I'll be needing to get more fit Whew. <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking forward to it I am this will be a pretty big project First van I've ever owned. I've owned pickup trucks in the States. Probably the biggest thing I've owned is a Chevy Silverado. Biggest things I've driven was the like, freight liners and Peter Belts in America. But yeah, this'll do. I've got a shelf. Shelf up here. No, I can't stand in it, but I can. But. Ta da! Still gives me plenty of room. I'd like to convert this in a way that when I have a bed, I can almost just fold it into the wall. So I do have storage and space to move things when I want to move things. Because as well as this being a camper van for weeks at a time and for the four days off work I typically get, I may want to use it for other things, <laughs> like moving stuff. So if I have more than one mountain bike in here sometimes and I'm heading off somewhere with a friend it'd be quite useful one thing I do need to show you on these doors as you can see, they have these locks here that can move out the way. They stay open even on a windy day. Yep, nice and open. So that'll be handy for me to make a little table 
on here. I got about a bit of an angle, so it's level. So when I'm outside, I've got a table. And then, when I just close the door, back in there it goes. It can't open any further now since it's in there. And I just close it shut. I've got some wire organization to do here, as you can see. So I'm back up front. It's my dash cam, lights here. I actually control from this switch by pushing it in. That goes off and push it on, it goes on. But there's the storage up there. So yeah, I've got quite a project ahead of me. And a few months to get ready for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far I've just been, uh, been driving around, getting used to it. Um, as you can see, my mileage here. Uh, it's 81,260. I've reset the trip calculator because uh, completely filled it up and we all know with uh, fuel prices the way they are <sighs> it was expensive but this gets better mileage than my mini and I've got more space than the mini and I don't need to transport four people around the mini can barely transport four people around anyway Got to constantly move the seats, <laughs> recline them in and out to get people in and out of it. So, it does have some remnants off its old job, as you can see the device there. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe to open a gate, maybe just the rest of the handheld for the mail. I don't know. She has no residue from the Royal Mail logos that are typically on her. Bit of residue here, identification number. A few markings on the hood, not bad. Flower petals everywhere. <laughs> A little marker, some sort of identification for the van there as well. But, uh, yeah, overall she's clean underneath. Very clean underneath. So. Very good shape. She did cost me a fair bit, but I mean, that's what I saved up for. You know. And I wanted to make sure I got something decent size, yet not too big. So, yeah. That's my van. Missing a bit of the chrome trim. Plastic chrome trim there, but... I really don't mind. You know, she was a little Postman Pat van, but... Now she's all mine. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll be bringing you a lot more adventures here shortly. Thank you for watching.